So good morning. Welcome again to this another series lecture about electrical wiring simulator or EWS. Today we're going to perform the third activity under the relays module. So click this one. And then let's proceed to the third activity, which is entitled alternating lamps. So now we will combine the normally open and normally closed contact of a relay. In this particular case here, relay number one. Okay, click the play and then the normal mode. So let's explain first the functionality of this uh, circuit. So the moment we turn on our power supply, okay, the current will not be able to flow through this uh, line one here because uh, this one is a normally open switch. So it means that uh, this relay will be in its de-energized state. If it is in de-energized states, all the contacts, the normally open will remain open, the normally closed will remain closed. Now let's try to analyze the second ladder here, the second rung. So the current will not be able to flow through the second line because this is uh, a normally open contact. Okay, it, it will not allow us, it will not allow the current to flow to the PL2. It means this PL2 is will be turned off. However, on the third rung, the current will be able to flow because this is a normally closed. So the, there is a close connection here, close contact. So the current will be able to flow through this PL1 here. It means that the moment we start our circuit breaker, this one is de-energized. This one is off, this one is on. However, if we press this one, if we press this PB2, this uh, R1 will be uh, in its D, uh, will be in its energized form. Hence, this one will close, this one will open. If this one is closed, this one will be on. Okay, if this one is open, this one will be off. Okay, if you release it again, the energize off, this one will be on. So, uh, it will be an alternating lamps, okay? So the, what we have to going to do here is connect this uh, wire here. So 24 volts to the input of the PB2, okay? So 24 volts to the input of the PB2. Oops, okay? And then the output of the PB2 to the 13. So this is very similar to what we did in the previous uh, activities. Okay, and then the 14 going back to the uh, zero volt, zero terminal, or the negative terminal of our power supply. Okay, so that's it for the first rung. The second rung is we have to connect the 24 volts or the input of the PB2. Okay, we can connect it from the input of the PB2 through the uh, terminal number nine. So this is number nine here. It would be easier if you connect it directly to the input of the PB2. Okay. Input of the PB2. Okay, next, the five. The five here, we have to connect it to the input of the PL2. Okay, take note in the equivalent diagram here, the five, the nine five pair is the normally open switch or normally open connection. Okay, so the five to the input of the PL2, five, which is here, oops, five to the input of the PL2. Okay, and then the output of the PL2, we can connect it to the 14. Okay, or the easiest way is to connect it to the zero volt. Okay. Oops. Oops. Okay. So next is the nine here. So take note that we already connected this one to the input of the PB2. So we had, we don't have to connect it to itself, the 9, because this is the 9 and the 9. Okay, so this is already connected. So why is it uh, it behaves this way? So take note of the equivalent diagram here. So this portion here is the normally open, the 9 to 5, and then this one here is the normally close. Okay, so it means that we have to connect only this one here. So the 1 to the PL1 input. So the 1 is around here. Okay, and then we have to connect this one to the input of the PL1. Okay. The one 
to the input of the PL1. Okay, next is we have to connect this one, the output of the PL1 to the zero volt, or we can connect this one to the output of the PL2. Let's take a closer look. So I think it would be easier if we connect it to the uh, what? To the zero volt, okay? Or since we have already two connections here, uh, it would be better if we connect it in the output here. Okay, so we can do it like this. Okay, so, okay, so let's zoom it out. So let's try to submit. So what we can assume here is if we click the submit, is that when the simulation starts, this PL1 should turn on. This one should turn on. And then the moment we press this one, it should turn off. And then the PL2 should turn on. Let's try to submit this one. Okay, so I think it's already turned on. Click the submit. Add, click the push button number two. Okay, so the, the PL2, the pilot lamp number two is now turned on. And I'm going to release. Okay, so this one is the alternating lamps. Okay, so see you in the next lecture.